everyone, today's video is sponsored by Imagine AI and we're going to be taking a hands-on look at how this software works by editing a real wedding. In case you're not familiar with Imagine, it's an AI-powered photo editing program for Lightroom Classic. You can use either the built-in profiles to give your photos certain looks or you can upload your own profiles and Imagine will eventually learn to edit the way you do. I've been testing Imagine since last year and I found that this is possibly the fastest way to edit a batch of photos which can be a huge time saver if you're a wedding photographer, for example, or a photographer who goes through large batches of images regularly. Using this software isn't just limited to weddings either. You can use this to batch edit your portrait sessions or your travel photos or any kind of photo shoot. So here I have the wedding of Brian Dillon in Lightroom Classic, and I've only imported my culled images because that's my usual workflow. If you cull in Lightroom, you can give your selected photos a rating and Imagine will only edit those photos. So I have 209 unedited images here in this catalog and as you can see I've included a variety of photos. We have some indoor photos with tungsten lighting, we have these outdoor photos, I also have some golden hour images as well, some indoor photos and right at the end here we have some flash photography as well. So a nice variety to see what Imagine will do with these photos. So I'm gonna close my catalog and open up Imagine and I'm gonna select create a project and here I'm gonna click and drag the Lightroom catalog that I just had open. So I have my catalog selected and here under choose an AI profile is where you can select what you want your edits to look like. I think the easiest way to get started with Imagine is by using a pre-made profile to quickly test the waters and see how it edits your images. If you use a link in my description to sign up and test out Imagine, you get 1,500 free edits to be able to start out. I really like what Cinematic Luxury looks like, so I'm gonna select that for my Talent AI profile, and I'm also going to have Crop and Straighten selected. So here under Filters is where you can choose which images within a catalog are edited. So if you like to cull in Lightroom rather than externally like I do, then you can select whichever one of these filters you gave your culled images. So now let's press Add and we'll also select upload and this will start uploading our catalog. As you can see, it is pretty quick to upload the catalog. I did cull this wedding down to about 200 images so we can focus on the features and the editing rather than the quantity, but usually for a wedding with eight hours of coverage, I would be editing anywhere between 700 to 900 photos. Once the photos are uploaded, we are now in the editing process where you have to wait a little bit of time for your photos to be edited. So according to Imagine, they brought down the editing time to zero 0.33 seconds per photo, which means it could edit 150 photos per minute or 1,500 photos in 10 minutes. <laughs> so generally speaking, with a final wedding call usually being around 1,000 photos or so, you could have that edited in less than 10 minutes, which is crazy. When I edit a wedding manually in Lightroom, it easily takes me hours. So our downloads are ready, so I'm gonna select download to review and then I'm gonna select download edits. And now we have to wait for the images to download and I'll select open Lightroom catalog. So one aspect that I really love about Imagine is that they're not sending you the final edited JPEGs. You're getting the Lightroom catalog back with edits applied to the photo that you have complete control over to tweak and adjust. So if we go into develop, you can see that all these sliders are adjusted with the preset that I chose, Cinematic Luxury, and you can adjust anything you want to suit your taste. So let's have a look at some before and afters throughout this wedding day to see how it's edited these photos. I'm gonna start here with this one and I'll go into develop and let's have a look at the before and the after. I really like this preset because it's got a very film-like look which I feel like really suits this wedding in particular. We have these photos where they were getting ready in the morning and it's done a really good job at cooling down those really vibrant greens in the background and also evening out the lighting as well because this photo was quite bright. Then we have some shots here of the boys getting ready. Here's a before and here's an after. Again, done a great job with the skin tones and cooling down that super warm color that we had indoors. You can also see that it has done some cropping and straightening. I really like that even though this isn't a horizon line, it's just a rug that has some straight lines, it knew to straighten up that image. At the girls, again, this is the before, we had super warm lighting indoors and again, it's done a beautiful job at fixing up the white balance and making the skin tones look really beautiful. And yes, this one has cropped in the image a little bit as well. I really like that it's done that and it's straightened it a bit as well. Next up, we have the ceremony. And during the ceremony, I was using two different cameras with two different focal lengths and it's done a great job at matching both of them. Like you can't really tell the difference 
difference between each lens because some lenses have a slightly different color cost to them. So if we take a look at this photo, this is my wide angle lens. It was probably a 35 or a 50. And this is my telephoto lens. So you can see it's matched that really nicely. Here we have the before and the after. This is the only one I would just bring down the exposure and increase the white balance a tiny bit before and after. Here we have some of the family portraits as well. It's done a great job. I think it's probably straight in this one. Yep, it's straight in this image as well, which is really cool. I feel like straightening and cropping my images probably takes the longest amount of time when I'm editing a wedding. So it's really cool that it does that really well. And then during the bridal portraits, we have a mixture of indoor photos. This is the before and this is the after. And here we have an outdoor photo again I feel like a little bit over and I want it to be a little bit warmer so here's the before and here's the after as you can see these are the indoor photos and these are the outdoor photos and I feel like it looks like a really nice set together okay, we also have these golden hour images where the sun was extremely bright that's a really nice one and finally let's jump over into our flash images so we have this one cutting the cake here's the before and here's the after i also have some of my travel photos i used imagine to edit with so i'll show you the before and afters but if you were to open a wedding like the one we were just editing in lightroom and apply a preset to the first photo and then sync it to all the other images it's not going to do the same thing as imagine has done to this session you'll very likely still need to go through each image one by one and adjust the white balance and the exposure at the very least, not to mention cropping and straightening as well. So it's really cool to see how consistent Imagine's editing is throughout an entire wedding. And looking at this wedding edit, there are only a very small handful of photos here and there where I would go in and tweak the exposure a little bit just for my personal taste. Other than that, these photos are ready to go and be sent off to the client. So using Imagine's AI built-in profiles are the easiest way to get started and test out Imagine and see if it's the right fit for your workflow. If you like how it edits your photos, you can also import your own edits for Imagine to analyze and create your own personal AI profile. It only takes 3000 images to build the profile and then you can use it over and over and over again for all your edits. The more you use Imagine, the more it gets to know your editing style as well to be able to replicate your edits with more accuracy to save you heaps of time. And Imagine isn't of course just limited to wedding photography as I said earlier, so you can use it for travel and landscape photography or even portrait sessions as well. So if you want to try out Imagine AI, please make sure to use the link in my description to receive 1,500 free edits. And as always, thank you so so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!